What's up, sons? It's Blind Rod with Savatech once again, and please excuse the mess as I'm currently rebuilding a water-cooled PC that you should see on this channel later this week. So if you're interested in that, hit the subscribe button and come back later to check it out. It's pretty beastly with an 8700K and Titan X Pascal. That aside, Google has just announced that they are going to be banning all cryptocurrency mining extensions in their Chrome web browser. In a blog post yesterday, Google went ahead and announced, of course, that they're going to be banning all of these cryptocurrency mining uh, extensions that you can purchase through the web store or, well, just download through the web store. Previously, Google has allowed these applications provided that it's its sole purpose to mine and that the user was fully aware. Unfortunately, 90% of all of these have actually been completely opposite of these two rules that Google had in place and have been mining on users hardware without their knowledge. They have also been, you know, not the sole purpose. So what you were seeing is an extension for XXX, but you were really getting a, an extension that was mining, of course, something in the background. So what Google has pretty much done here is just said, nope, it's over. We're just going to go ahead and get rid of all of it not dissimilar to their decision to get rid of all cryptocurrency ads from their Google services, including YouTube. And both of these are going to take place sometime in June. You can check out my video on the Google ban of cryptocurrency ads up here in the corner. Now, the good news is it's not going to affect any other extensions for cryptocurrency. So your Jack's wallets and your MetaMask and anything else that isn't actually mining on your hardware but does relate to cryptocurrency is still going to be allowed. So don't worry about losing access to your Jack's wallet. But of course, you know, not my favorite wallet for you to be using. Go check something else out. That aside, that's a tangent. Let's go ahead and talk about what I think about this. Now, I've been a proponent of kind of blocking a lot of this stuff. I haven't ever been upset about the ads getting blocked because for a majority of them, they've ended up being malicious, you know, advertising something along the lines of a lending program like BitConnect or just all of the rest of the hucksters and scam artists going around and buying a whole bunch of Google ads, buying a whole bunch of YouTube ads, Facebook ads, Twitter ads, and then manipulating people that don't understand anything about cryptocurrency into investing into their platform when they would have been better off just buying Bitcoin. Now, mining cryptocurrency through a Google Chrome extension takes it to the next level, especially in the aspects that people have been implementing it. What they've been doing is essentially utilizing other users' hardware, other users' pieces of equipment, you know, like my processor over here, when it's idle to go ahead and mine to make money, not for the user, but for the person that developed the extension. And that brings you into more of a ethically unsound kind of ground or arena there. And I think that this kind of has to be done, just like I've talked about, you know, the ads needing to be taken away. I think this is another aspect where we need to protect the users and we need to protect the rights to their equipment. You know, people have purchased these and if you're gonna be mining on a PC, or somebody else's PC, you're going to, whether or not it's going to do it really quickly, it's going to degrade the hardware over time. And if the user is not aware that it's actually being done, it just seems like it's not such a great idea to do to somebody else. Now, this has been popping up everywhere, not just in Google Chrome extensions. You need to be very careful about the types of miners and the types of wallets you're downloading. Everything's pretty much distributed through GitHub, which is curated, yes, but not curated to the point to where the average consumer is going to be aware of something that may be malicious. Not to mention the amount of other types of viruses that are coming along with some of the mining software and so on and so forth. A lot of what we've seen recently as well in IT is that we've seen a whole bunch of malicious miners being deployed across large networks and infrastructures in data centers across the US and across the world. And what that is doing is pretty much mining on companies' hardware without their knowledge to go ahead and gain some sort of personal profit. It's gotten so bad that you see a lot of times that now pretty much Windows Defender and any other AV program, AV standing for antivirus, is going ahead and marking any miner as malicious. 
And it's hard to say that it shouldn't be doing that because you just don't know at this point if that's actually something somebody wanted to intentionally install or if they're doing it without the owner's knowledge. This can get very bad in medical environments and other environments where the CPU usage has already been set so high, usually within an 80% threshold, that if you add a miner on top of that, you start taking down other systems and services that that machine needs to be running. So in theory, if you're utilizing, let's say a medical system to mine with, you could be hindering the treatment of a patient and that gets to the point to where it's becoming almost a moral issue and not just an ethical issue. Unfortunately, in cases like these, it shapes public opinion. So all of the negative news that's been going on about the ads being banned, and of course, all of the people that say, you know, well, they needed to be banned because, you know, I bought a cryptocurrency from so-and-so and it took a dive and it was just a scam. So all cryptocurrency is a scam is really hurting that public image. It only gets worse when you start talking about people using miners for you know personal profit on users' hardware that they're trying to perform other tasks and types of work on, and as well as degrading their actual future performance. So unfortunately, I think right now, the biggest thing is going to be the public perception of all these news stories coming out, and that is, like we've seen, you know, causing some drop in the price of cryptocurrency. And hopefully, of course, it will recover and we will all be able to start use, utilizing it for its original purpose, which is putting the financial power back into the hands of the people and out of the hands of the government and providing control over your assets. This is not to make quick buck. And unfortunately, that's what it's being used for a majority of the time and how people perceive it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I will see you next Tuesday.